Hi everybody. We have another question from Michael. It's about pronunciation. The R. The R is so difficult. A lot of students ask about the R. So here's a sentence. I'm very, very hungry for burgers. Really. Hmm. Well, let's, let's try a wrong pronunciation. I'm very, very hungry for burgers, really. Yeah? I'm very, very hungry for burgers, really. Yeah? Well, those are two examples of wrong pronunciation. You got to get that R. Now, remember, this, this is the mouth, okay? This is, this is the, uh, the upper teeth and the lower teeth, okay? And here's your tongue, okay? Now, when you make the R sound, the tongue is going to point to the alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge, okay? It's this part, the part that sticks out. Okay, Come, it comes out a bit. It points, but it does not touch. It doesn't touch. And actually, it, it points, but it actually points a little higher, okay? So you start pointing and then you go up. So this is pointing, uh, 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 and then the tongue goes up more, uh, uh. okay, so right now, I'm pointing my tongue at the alveolar ridge. Uh, uh, uh. This is the sound that I'm getting. And then if I make my tongue go up a little more, no touching. And then down. You can change the sound. The sound comes from here. That's an L. So that's the tongue placement. Also remember, you need to use some muscles in your cheeks. It's not relaxed. You can make an R sound relaxed, but it's better to use some energy. And I tell my students, in your tongue, imagine in the middle of your tongue, you have a, a little round piece of candy, and you're holding it. So in your tongue, in the middle of your tongue, you're holding some candy. And then the tip of your tongue is pointing up, er, er, very, very, I'm very, very hungry for burgers. I like this sentence because your tongue never touches anything. The tongue, the tip of the tongue doesn't touch anything. I'm very, very hungry for burgers. The tongue you can keep almost in the same position. I'm very, very hungry for burgers. I'm very, very hungry for burgers. Woo! I'm very, very hungry for burgers. I am very, very hungry for burgers. The tongue never touches. But this word, Really, really, Lee, Lee. Now, when you do the L, then the tongue touches. And teachers will tell you that you can do the Lee, Lee, Lee by placing your tongue in this area. Lee, 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 Lee. Yes, you can. But if the L is confusing, and I know for Japanese and Korean students, maybe some other students, the L is confusing, it's easy to make the L by putting the tongue between the teeth. Really, lee, 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 really. And Americans do that. We do the L inside the mouth and outside. So here the tongue touches, but here no tip of the tongue touching. No touching, no touching, no touching. I'm very, very hungry for burgers. I'm very, very hungry for burgers. 
I'm very, very hungry for burgers. I'm very, very hungry for burgers. Oh, I'm very, very hungry for burgers. If you can, leave me a recording. A recording so I can listen to you. I know a lot of Spanish speakers and a lot of Indian, Pakistan, that area people. They have a very, very hard time with the R sound. So you need to practice practice and let me hear you and maybe I can help coach you and if you can do you guys watch FNL yeah if you watch FNL we have a friend from India named Bhaskar and I catch his R all the time Bhaskar is really good but uh, you got to practice like Bhaskar Bhaskar practices hard uh, so follow him listen to him and uh, and if you can leave a recording and join me on FNL okay good luck with those R's they're not easy Bye-bye.